Among other things, the application includes tools for creating physically accurate character movements. When you're working with physics, the most important object is the character's center of mass. The center of mass is a point which position is defined by positions of rigid bodies and their masses. As laws of physics state, if there are no fulcrums, the center of mass always moves along a ballistic trajectory. Ballistics tool helps you to create a physically accurate trajectory for a character in the state of a free flight. This is useful for animating jumps or, for example, things thrown in the air. Let's suppose you have a general idea of what your jump should look like and have already set main poses in the keyframes. Now, you need a physically accurate flight line. On the timeline, select an interval in which your character should perform the jump. The first frame of this interval should be the last frame where the character still has a fulcrum point. The interval should end with the frame where the character lands. Press the button to create ballistic curve. The curve will be created so its start and end points would coincide with the character's center of mass in the frames where the character leaves the ground and lands on it. The height of the curve would coincide with the number of frames in the interval. The more frames there are, the higher the jump will be. Ballistic curve is represented on the timeline as a black line. Gravity also affects the flying time. The value of the gravity force can be adjusted in this field. The lower it is, the longer the jump will take. By default, it is equal to the gravity force in real life. There are several controllers on the ballistic curve. By applying manipulators to them, you can change the shape of the curve and the trajectory of the flight. Once you are satisfied with the shape of the ballistic curve, snap the center of mass to it. Select the ballistic curve and press the button with the magnet icon on it. This will make the character move so its center of mass remains always aligned with the trajectory of the ballistic curve. If you select a part of the interval on the timeline, the center of mass will snap to the curve on the selected frames only.